In this session, we're going to talk about batch printing and plotting. I've got a cross-section drawing open on screen. This drawing is made up of several layouts. If I select each layout, we can view the title block. I'm going to go back to layout one. Now I could print the layouts one at a time just by selecting the layout and then I'll come up and click the plot button. What if I wanted to plot more than one? Well, I can do that using standard Windows uh, keyboard functionality. In this case, I'll select Layout 1, and then I'll come down and hold my Shift key and select Layout 5. This grabs all the layouts between them. I will then right-click, and in the menu, I'll choose Publish Selected Layouts. This lets me plot all five at one time. In the dialog box, right here, I can select the plotter I'd like to print to. Right now, it'll plot to the plotter named in the page setup, but I could also send these right to PDF or DWF if I wanted to. Here, we can see the plot plot list, page setup, and the status. Notice that we could bring in content from other drawings if we want to. I could grab layouts from several other files. Also notice that we could save this list. That means I could go through and, and create a saved list of all the layouts that make up my plan set, and then I could plot them simply by launching the publish command, load the list, and then I can come down and click publish to complete the, the task. Let me close this. There's another way to do batch plotting. I'm going to press Control 4 to bring up my Sheet Set Manager. If you organize your plan set as a sheet set, each one of these hyperlinks in this palette represents a sheet. Just for a second, I'm going to double click. You can see this is a quick way to access the sheets. There's my cover sheet. Let me double click and we can go to the general notes. I can batch plot the whole plan set from here as well. If I right click on the plan set, I can come down and choose Publish and I could publish these all to PDF, DWF, or publish to a plotter. In this case, I'm going to choose Publish to PDF. Let's save this under My Documents using the default name. And now the plot job will run in the background, allowing me to continue to work while the plot is underway. When the plot is finished, Civil 3D will let me know. At this point, all I have to do is right-click on the icon, and I can choose View Plotted File to view the PDF in Acrobat Viewer. If we look over to the left, we can see all the sheets, and I can use the arrows to flip from page to page.